Dangerous stunt, and it's all on camera. This happened in Los Angeles. See what's happening there? Well, police are searching for the driver who sent a Tesla soaring in the air. It crashed into parked cars. The driver fled the scene, and this morning they have named a person of interest, and guess what? It's a popular TikTok user. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in L.A. with more. Matt, this was something. It was, TJ. Good morning. And the LAPD calling it extremely dangerous and shocker irresponsible. The LAPD telling me overnight that they do have that person of interest, but they are looking for more eyewitnesses, saying that that Tesla came roaring up the street at 50 miles an hour the wrong way, came flying over that lip, soaring and crashing right where that uh, trash can is, about 100 feet away. They say that video has now been viewed tens of millions of times. This may be Los Angeles. <laughs> This video is not from a Hollywood movie set. Watch as this black Tesla speeds through a neighborhood early Sunday morning, rocketing through the air over those spectators, slamming onto its nose and crashing into two parked vehicles and trash cans below. This morning, police using these now viral videos as part of their criminal investigation as they search for the driver behind this jaw-dropping joyride, which left behind a trail of destruction. I opened up the door to look outside and there was a headlight right next to my front door and then I went out onto the road and there was just broken up garbage pails strewn everywhere. Police say it was just after midnight when the suspect sped this 2018 black Tesla rental down Baxter Street, known as one of the steepest residential streets in the country, while that crowd of spectators recorded the jump. Incredibly, the driver and passengers walked away from that smashed Tesla. Neighbors saying they climbed into another Tesla and fled the scene. Police telling ABC News they're working with the rental car agency to try to identify the driver. Jordan Hook says the car slammed into his blue Subaru, destroying his front tires, steering column, and suspension. To move my car full length, about seven or eight feet from where it was, down into my neighbor's driveway, so it hit pretty hard. In 2018, the city changed Baxter to a one-way after accidents here piled up, caused in part by navigation apps routing rush hour commuters, but the drivers of this car knew exactly what they'd find, though not how it would end. The LAPD telling me that it's incredible that none of the passengers in that car or the bystanders standing right here were hurt. They say they're only going to charge this, though, as a misdemeanor hit and run because they say only property was damaged. With well, thankfully, it wasn't much worse, Matt. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.